that bird again. That bird only shows up when I shoot mere minutes. That's it. How you doing? Are you enjoying your weekend? It's getting close to Christmas now, only 10 days away. So you better get started if you're going to make Christmas gifts or but I guess you better go start shopping if you're gonna buy Christmas gifts. <laughs> and I wanna give a shout out to Steve Teague. Hey Steve. What? <laughs> And I've been getting a number of people who have sent me pictures of their wooden gift bows that they've made for their front doors. <laughs> In your face! There are people who liked that project, not just me. <laughs> but you know what project I didn't like? Was the xylophone project. <laughs> I hated that project. I don't think I've hated working on a project that much in over a year. It sounded like such a good idea and as I got into it, it just went downhill from there. It just got worse and worse. I think the key to making a xylophone is to attach all of the keys together horizontally, run a, a cord or a string through those that way and then keep the dividers and then just kind of let them float there, I guess. Did I tell you I hated working on that project? <laughs> It was really nice to make the piggy bank this week after all of that best the week before. Piggy bank turned out a lot easier to make than I was anticipating and I'm sure you could make that project in a day. It's like making a bandsaw box only not. It's like making a bandsaw box only easier. Sort of like a bandsaw box. It's really nothing like a bandsaw box. <laughs> it's just a hollow area with two boards slapped on each side. Oh, and thank you all who made the child's art easel. Mark and I got 210 submissions. 210 of you made those easels, so that's really, really cool. And I'm sure we're going to be over the $10,000 goal. I'll put a link down in the description where you can check the, the progress on I'm sure he, Mark is still tallying up everything and waiting for the donations to come in from all the, the corporate sponsors and, and that sort of thing. So it was real fun to be involved in that. And it just feels good this time of year to be able to to give to something like cancer care. And if you haven't been over to the wood shop bay lately, check it out. <laughs> We've got some new t-shirt designs on there designed by you, the viewers. And remember when I asked for submissions for that? Anybody had any ideas for t-shirts? <laughs> We've gotten hundreds of ideas, a really, really great ideas. So it's really fun to sift through all of those and we're trying to pick out some of the best ones. The two new ones from viewers were Let It Saw, Let It Saw, Let It Saw. <laughs> and I really liked that one, it was seasonal. And then the other one was Woodworking, there's no app for that. <laughs> But that one was just so cool. The funny thing about that was is that some people were leaving comments that, well, there sure are woodworking apps. <laughs> the, the shirt wouldn't have been as funny if it had been woodworking. There's several fairly useful apps for that. Hey, what else? I was watching some football today. San Francisco beat Tampa. Nothing unexpected there. Oakland is playing right now and losing to Kansas City, also nothing unexpected. But San Diego, look, San Diego beat Denver this week, which was really crazy. I always forget about San Diego. I think a lot of Californians forget that San Diego is part of the state, but they've got a pretty good football team. <laughs> It was also fun watching those snowy games last week out in the Midwest and in the East Coast. Wow, that was crazy snowfall. You couldn't hardly watch the game. <laughs> I admire you guys for putting up with that kind of weather. This week, we had the coldest weather that I remember in 25 years of living out in California. That was, it was so cold this week that our, well, we had a pipe burst out in, well, not really the pipe, but the, the hose, the garden hose where it attaches to the, the faucet outside and I noticed there wasn't any water pressure in the sink one day and I hear, heard noise and so I went outside and this water was just spraying all over and the hose had frozen inside of the hose, completely froze it up and it had, it had just burst out of there. I think it still works, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at it, it was just too cold. I cannot live in that kind of weather. Even today it's a little, it's much, much nicer now but it's still a little chilly, I just, I don't like it. Well, the Super Bowl is going to be in New York, so hey, may have a cold Super Bowl. That's unusual. Usually they put the Super Bowl someplace where it's gonna be warm or in a dome or something. So hey, I don't know, they're doing something different this year. This week will be my New Year's Noisemaker project. It's going to be my final project of the year because I'm gonna take the next week off. And then I'm going to have a year-end roundup wrap-up video on this channel. I'm not sure when that'll be, probably in a week or two. I guess, well, before the end of the year. <laughs> 
I guess that's about all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I don't know if next Mere Minutes will be my year-end show or if I'll have one between those. I don't know. I'm kind of flaky on this channel. <laughs>